الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد وعلی علیہ وصحبہ وسلم اما بعد What are the signs that a servant has love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? And these are some fuaid from Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah ta'ala in his book Al-Qawaid Fil Muhabba You know, the principles of the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in the beginning, or one of the first things that Shaykh al-Islam mentions, he mentions that the love of death, that one of the signs of the servants of Allah is a love for death. Qala Shaykh al-Islam rahimahullah ta'ala, the slave loves to meet Allah and has an ardent desire to look at him subhanahu wa ta'ala. It cannot be imagined that the heart can love Allah except that it desires to meet Him and to see Him. An ardent desire to meet Allah is a high and elevated station that emerges from a strong love of Allah Azza wa Jal. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to supplicate for this and say, O oh Allah, I ask you for a desire to meet you. And this is a hadith found in Nisa'i. What is being requested here is an ardent desire to meet Allah, which emerges from absolute sincere love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many of the Salaf al Salih used to wish for death out of a strong desire to meet Allah. Abu Darda radiallahu ta'ala anhu used to say, I love death, desiring the meeting with my Lord. I love poverty, humbling myself to my Lord. And I love sickness in order that my sins might be expiated. Abu Utba al-Khulani rahimahullah ta'ala said, Your brothers, meaning the Salaf, used to love to meet Allah more than honey, which was something very dear to the uh, Arabs. Dhunnun rahimahullah ta'ala said, A desire to meet Allah is the highest level one can attain in his love of Allah. When the slave reaches this level, he considers the approach of death to be too slow, because of his longing to meet Allah and to see him. For indeed your delight with something follows your love of it. On the authority of Muslim Ibn Yasar, rahimahullah ta'ala, who said, Those who find pleasure don't find delight in anything like the happiness they find in seclusion and secrecy with Allah. And Fudayl Ibn Iyad, rahimahullah ta'ala, said, Tuba, a tree in paradise, or success is for the one who isolates himself from the people while making while making Allah his intimate companion. Dhunun rahimahullah ta'ala said, indeed from the signs that one loves Allah is his abandonment of anything that distances him from Allah until he preoccupies himself totally with Allah alone. He also said, indeed, from the signs of those who truly love Allah is that they don't find intimacy with anyone other than Allah and they don't seek shelter with anyone other than Him. Then he said, when the love of Allah settles in the heart, there is a love of intimacy between the slave and Allah due to the fact that Allah means more to him than anything. So these are some of the benefits uh, that the Salaf of this Ummah held with regards to loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah uh, mentioned in his book, uh, The Principles of, of Love, of Loving Allah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to bless us to be of those with al nafia wa rizqan tayyibu wa amalan muttaqabbilin and those people who are beloved to Allah and who love Allah much. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم